Hey, thanks for watching this episode of FOMO's Tutorial Tuesdays, and if you have an 87 through 93 Ford Mustang and your turn signal stop working, then stay tuned, this video is for you. So if you ever got in your car and you realize that your turn signal stopped working, so you've turned your key on and nothing happens, but you realize your hazard lights work just fine. What could that be? Let me show you. So the tools that you'll need for this job is a ratchet wrench with an eight millimeter socket, Phillips head screwdriver, and a wire brush or some sandpaper. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal on your battery and set that to the side. So once you're done disconnecting the battery, you want to come to the driver's side of the vehicle and you want to come look underneath the dash. When you get under the dash, you're going to take your eight millimeter socket and you're going to remove one, two, and three eight millimeter screws. Next step is come to your steering column, locate the steering column cover here, and you'll notice that underneath there are two holes, one here and one over here. There are two screws, Phillips head screws. You wanna go ahead, take your Phillips head screwdriver, go up there and loosen those screws. Once those screws are removed, you can go ahead and separate the two pieces of the column cover and get them out of the way. Now that you've got the column cover removed, you can go ahead, pull up on this panel here. Just gently pull on it, and it should come loose. Once it unclips from where it's at, you can go ahead, set that out of the way. So now that we have the plastic trim cover out of the way, what we need to do is remove this metal shield piece right here. And all we need to do is take our eight millimeter socket and remove one and two eight millimeter screws and once those screws are removed we're going to remove this piece and move it out of the way all right so now underneath the steering column you'll notice a bunch of different wires and connectors but the one we want to focus on is this one right here this is what's referred to as the multi-function switch oftentimes this will get corroded, the contacts on the inside will get corroded and cause a lack of connection when you turn the key, which will therefore uh, not activate the turn signal stalk switch. So our remedy is to remove this and clean those contacts to fix it. In order to do that, all you want to do is come over here on the other side of the switch, and you'll see this little tab. All you want to do just pull down on that tab and it should loosen up and come loose all together. So if you look how this piece is, you have two pieces. You have this piece right here, which stays up inside of the lock cylinder up there. When you turn the key, it moves this piece and it moves the contacts on the bottom part here. And that's what turns the ignition on and off. So if this piece isn't making good contact to the bottom piece, then you might have issues activating your turn signal switch. So all you want to do is take some sandpaper or a wire brush and go ahead, clean the contacts on here and use some electrical cleaner, wipe it off, make sure the contacts are nice and clean, and then you can reconnect the switch. And the easiest way to do that is to take your uh, top piece here and you want to put it in just like this, where the open side faces towards the front of the car. You're going to just stick it up in there and you're going to slide it into the little pin this right there. The next thing you want to do is take the bottom half of the switch here, the connector, and you're just going to go ahead and push it up onto that piece, push it towards the back of the car, lock it into those two tabs right there, and then push the back side in until it firmly seats. Just like that. So once you have that switch back together, you can put everything you just removed back to where it was. So once you're done putting everything together, go ahead, of course, reconnect the negative terminal on your battery, start the car. And if what you did was a success, you should have working turn signals again. 
Now, if you go through all that trouble and you realize it's still not working or it temporarily works and then stops working at some point after the repair, chances are you will likely have to replace that whole switch assembly or just the plastic piece that you take apart. If that doesn't fix it, then it's likely either the hazard switch located in the glove box, behind the glove box actually, or it could be a fuse or a wire somewhere else. But as for my issues in my 92 Mustang, that was indeed the fix to correct the non-working blinkers. So now it's all good, ready to go, and hopefully that helped you with your Mustang, and now you should be ready to go back on the road. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you wanna see more videos like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next video.